In the previous video, we finished up our character movement component by setting up sprinting. Now what we're going to do in this one is set it up so where we can actually control our sprint speed right inside of the editor. So what we're going to do is just like we have our blueprint callable function, we're going to have a blueprint, well, a U property that's going to be editable anywhere. Or sorry, edit defaults only, allowing us to alter the sprint speed that we want to go to. So U property, edit defaults only. And again, I'm going to do category equals tutorial. Then float sprint speed. Or I guess you could say max sprint speed to follow along with what is given from all the others, such as max walk speed. Then I'm going to give this a default value of 600. Now, all we have to do is set speed to equal max sprint speed, and then we're done. I'm actually kind of curious about live coding right now. I want to see if this actually works for updating yet, because I know that was talked about for updating the header. So let's see. Oh, that's awesome. It actually worked. Let's actually see if this has an effect, though. So I should still be at about 300 ping. So it kind of worked. Kind of broke some stuff at the same time. <laughs> so I'm going to relaunch. Okay, we're back at the editor. That should still be set. There we go. Everything's good. Still at 300 ping, I believe. Now we're at 300 ping. And everything seems to be good. Not seeing any jitter or anything like that. So now let's bump this up, make sure this actually takes effect, and we'll do 1200. And there we go. Now we're really zooming. All right, so I'd say we are pretty much good to go. All right, so that's going to wrap up this series. If you like what I'm doing and you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon in the description below. We have a Team Deathmatch series just for patrons, as well as you get early access to pretty much all of my videos, such as this one. If you have any questions or anything like that, feel free to join my Discord server that's also linked down below, and I'll try to help you out. So I'll see you in the next video.